Hello everyone, and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors, the Definitive Edition. This is episode 29, and I am not feeling great today, but here I am. Uh, as always, joined with me is my friend... <laughs> I, I, I'm back! We're back! Oh, fight. Feels like it's been a while since, since we did this, both. Well, they again, when we always get posted, you probably, like, you, the viewer, probably won't know, but it's, but it's I, Card, like, the guy who plays Dimitri, and depending on when this get, depending on when this actually goes up, uh, Miko, uh, on, um, uh, <coughs> in the, um, uh, Dungeon Force podcast, the yep. D&D session where we are currently doing. Yep. Speaking of which, I don't think I've uploaded the last episode of that. Uh, so, I have a new controller. Uh, I've had this about a month now. Um, that tells you how long it's been since we've actually recorded. Uh, I know that, like, this episode is just going up, like, right after the previous one. Um, but I was waiting till we had at least the main story mode done before I started posting things. Uh, and there was, like, a two-month period where we weren't able to record. So, uh, yeah, Bl it's been a bit. Uh, blame he blame health and ex and you know external factors for that. But uh, as per usual, whenever we start a recording session, it's t it's once again amiibo time. Amiibo time. So uh, we have the uh, how's this work? Mm. It's an amiibo. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, yep. it's like right in the middle. Interesting. Bo a Pokemon just gave us ooh what a a spear or oh, is that a rod? Uh, it's a dragonborn. Dragonbone Pike. So yeah, it's one of Olga's spears. Yeah, it looked like a spear. <coughs> spear, Sorry. rod, very similar, very similar in fashion because you know they both like they both sticks with something at the at the top. Right. Um, so that was obviously the Bow Goblin. Um, returning from a previous episode, I think I did this one. We have uh, Archer Link. Bust the Wild Archer Link. We just. Uh, Put him right there. And, Ooh, uh, a white sword. white sword. Not surprising that we got a link item from a link amiibo. Mm. So we have, um, I think I've used this one before, but it's uh, Mega Man. Oh, by the, oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, because this happened after E3, um, Mega Man 11 hype. Right. There is. It's supposed to be coming out pretty soon, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And I want it. I want it so bad. <laughs> uh, I also have brought in Shove Knight. Yes. Like a guy like a guy who got to Smash Brothers as a as an assist trophy, but you know what? Dang it, he he still got in. Uh, assist trophy or not. So all the Waluigi fans that are upset that he's not playable yet. Hey, think of all the Indie fans that that are, that, that are just glad to see that to see their man re just represented at all. Right. And uh, lastly, we have a new amiibo. Uh, this is not mine. This is actually my nephew's amiibo. But uh, I figured I would throw it in anyway. That is uh, of my course, brother's the, Pikachu. The, the, the little rat himself. <coughs> Who apparently has no interest in us because he gave us a whopping one rupee. Yeah, of course. Figures a little rat would cheap out on us. <clears throat> right. Um, oh, so uh, apparently that white sword tipped us over the edge on uh, a number of swords that we have. We have 20. But it's a, 20. Yeah, but that's a good white sword if, if, if I'm looking at it stat-wise. Uh, pretty good, yeah. Light plus, strength two, um, four star. It's pretty decent. Um, I think I'm just going to sell all of the night swords that I have, because I don't think I really have any that I'm, I need to keep. Um, because, because for one, Master Sword, and for two, well, we've, we've, we've started to get, you know, white sword, so... Yeah, I mean, I do want to keep this one that has the experience plus on it. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, keep that one, because, you know... Yeah, because I experience plus is over. always over. Um... But otherwise, none of these have anything else that I want to keep, so I'm just going to go ahead and discard all those. Just, it's like, just go, like, just go <laughs> to your friendly neighborhood and, uh, <coughs> like, sh like, shopkeep, and be like, here, I have a bunch of stu stuff that you can sell. <laughs> right. 
So, uh, in the last episode, we finished off Sia's Tale, and we're stepping into the, uh, the Ganondorf arc, um, and all of this is just after I, uh, sit here and do the, the, the usual beginning of episode, uh, Bizarre Run. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Enjoy all the... And stuff. Although it isn't that bizarre of, of a run, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Puns! Puns. Them puns. Hey, in the time since we have recorded last, Nico B started and finished uh, his Mother 3 playthrough. Yeah, and, um, uh, and, and, like, and also he's done something so, something that we normally shill, but <coughs> very, very reluctantly at, his, at, at for him, but still, holy crap, did that blow up fast. But again, co it would compare the two channels. We like this one's. We are still kind of small, yeah. and, and and you know he's been doing his thing for about ooh seven years of, of nearly daily content. Right. Ser ser seriously, dude, dude work dude, like dude works his butt off. <laughs> but get, but they get you know guy doing YouTube full time, and you know two people who have, who, have, who have jobs and are doing this for 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 you know fun. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, it's it's much different. The the other major thing about Nico B compared to like our channel is like Nico B does like several hours of like one recording session and then he trims that down to just like an hour long video. Yeah. Like a like 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 for like for those who you know want who you know want someone to to look for to look to to how they should be do, to you know sort of an example of, of you know a type of let's player look to him because <laughs> now, I'm not saying that that his style is the best but you know I mean like, his style is I like his style better than Game Grumps <coughs> but then he, Game Grumps has been lacking as of late I feel like yeah they've been they've been lacking for a while in my personal opinion but you know hey yeah. I mean, I like Game Grumps and all that. It's just like, it, it feels like as of late, a lot of what the Game Grumps have been doing is like, they'll, um, like they'll do a game and everything is like, oh, this is a cool game and all that. But then it's just like, like I don't know how to explain it. It's just like Aaron just isn't having fun anymore or anything. Oh, hey! Just to, uh, if, like if we're sh like if we're shilling other U other YouTube channels while while we're here, about, <coughs> like here, like here's one you might like here's a sort of you know, multi like multiple person uh, channel you might want want to check out the Runaway Guys. Runaway Guys. Yeah, we, you know, like we can check this out after you can check that out you know at a, diff at a different date, but right, like th like three different like three di like three different Let's Players for those who have been following it like I have, they you know who. Then you know who they are, and you know they have done a bunch of multiplayer games together, and right. you get a lot of you know just very, very <coughs> you know personal reactions from them, uh, especially sort of the quote unquote leader, uh, Chuck Conroy. If you know who he is, I have heard of Chuck Conroy. I've never seen any of his videos, but I have heard yeah. of them. Yeah, <laughs> if, but anyway, if, uh, if I may, if we may comment on the story. Hey, look! It's Gandorf, and he—he's he's out, and he's like, "Ah, well, ah, uh, after X amount of years, I'm free. It's time to conquer Hyrule." Yeah. So because basically, I mean, basically, um, Ganondorf, after being defeated there, I get you know, trying to fight Sia, um, he returned to the Gerudo Desert where he's. Basically, building up an army, strategizing, things like that, trying to build up the, you know, try to conquer the Triforce and stuff. Again. So. Yeah, what, what, like, what, what, is this, <clears throat> what, what is this, round number 15 at this point? Right. And, uh, so we start out, uh, just Ganondorf, Zant, and, uh, Girahim. And we have uh, that scene first. <coughs> He's like, "All right, YouTube minions, you had fun, you had fun serving. 
like so, like serving the so, like serving the boob lady. But now I'm back. Time to, <laughs> like, time, to, time to take over. Time to, time to conquer Hyrule proper. Now this timeline shenanigans, shenanigans. Like, like straight up going after the Triforce and stopping everything in my way. <laughs> Very much, yeah. Um, so this is going to be a little interesting because we actually have to avoid killing a lot of enemies at the very beginning. Um, because if I want the, uh, the gold Sculptula, I have to get to a certain point in the level before hitting a thousand enemies, so... Mm. It's, uh, it's gonna be a little slow at first, but after that we should be able to just, like, slam through everything here. <laughs> yeah, because this guy, yeah, because at least from what I'm seeing, um, Gandalf is kind of the, um, uh, is kind of this game's equivalent of Lu Bu. And for those who play, who play, you know, um, uh, Dynasty Warriors on the regular, yeah, they know that reference. Right. Also, apologies if my voice sounds terrible. Uh, I did mention that I have not been feeling good lately. I've actually been out of work for almost two weeks. Um, for back pain, actually. But this, like, cough and stuff has just hit me the last, like, two days. Like, literally, it just started, like, yesterday. Ugh. So, yeah, it's, it's not been fun. Clearly. Oh well, well now that Gandorf's here, I, like I like I do sort of have a topic, despite it's not being uh, for, like to go over, and that's well revolving around the big man himself, his ver like his various like his his various battles throughout the series, ones we've liked, ones we haven't liked, you know that sort of thing. Right. Um. I mean, there there definitely are a good amount of um, Ganondorf. Ah, uh, battles. I mean, you get... Let's see. <coughs> I mean, if we're counting Ganon along in that, because it's honestly it, more Ganon than there is just Ganondorf, um, mm -hmm. I think one of the weakest, and I know a lot of people will disagree, um, of one of the weakest, in my opinion, was the very first Zelda game. I felt like that had the weakest uh, like in a lot of different things, though. Yeah, um, that, but, but, you know, it's first game syndrome. Yeah, it is it is the first game. I mean, it's still a good game, but I don't think that it's aged well at this point. Uh, I know a lot of people will disagree with that. Yeah, um, and uh, if, I, if, I may, if I may be blunt, like, like, have, like, lock, like locking his, de like, his defeat condition behind, like, behind, if you, if someone can get, if someone can get a, a, cer a certain item is BS. Yeah, the, the whole silver, like, it doesn't bother me that the light arrows and stuff exist in the later games for it, but the uh, the silver arrow in A Link to the Past, and especially, especially even further in the original Zelda, like there's com those are completely optional. Like you don't even you're not even led to even know about the silver arrow in yeah. uh, the original Zelda. Um, so the fact that you have to go through his you know, entire dungeon specifically find that arrow and use that is not, you know, I don't mind that the red ring and the blue ring and stuff were items and such, but like the silver arrow, the item that you need to kill Ganondorf or Ganon being yeah. the, that if in there is nah. Yeah, that's like, so, like. Like Nintendo, we love, like we love, like we understand. First game, still trying to get the kinks that worked out, but still, dick move. Yeah, indeed. I mean, far be it. Um, like it's not the worst. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like Zelda thing, not the worst thing that Zelda's done, you know, for their <laughs> final boss and stuff. But it it definitely wasn't that great of a move, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. <coughs> So yeah, not gonna disagree. For like first fight against, for, for every first time taking this guy down, pain in the neck. Right now, uh, uh, the, the link to the past version of Ganon was a lot better. Again, you still had the the optional silver arrow thing, but at least they clued you into the idea that it was required. Mm -hmm. So because the, yeah. they tell you multiple times, they're like, yeah, if you want to kill Gan Ganon, you're gonna have to get the Silver arrow, and it's like, okay. But they don't tell you how to get it, and so 
finding it is a little ridiculous. In fact, but you have to, they, like... But at least they're like, hey, yeah, like, it's probably a good idea if you get this thing that way. Like, that way you can actually, you know, beat the final boss. In, in, right. With, you know, with sort of, with relative, with regular, with, yeah, relative. Yeah. <coughs> Now, would it, now let's talk about the best fights against this guy because, oh boy, that's like that is something that can be that can be debated from, from like from uh, like every which way because you know, like do we like do we want to go like do we want to go for the from the ping pong match from from he, from hell in Ocarina of Time like do we want to like do we want to bring up Wind Wa like Wind Waker's spectacular finale? Oh yeah. Like the like the like the Oracle games where they where they re where they re where they resurrect him and you got and you got to take him out old school style like or do we, like or do we want to go or do or do you want to go with the like ugh, or do we want to you know stretch this and include and even include demise <laughs> right. because you know that's true because you know de like for like for all the crap you know, people give him a Skyward Sword oh that demise fight looked. Mm. <coughs> yeah, no, I, out of all the crap that Skyward Sword goes through, I think that the one thing that I can definitely say that they did right, and I, this isn't just the only thing they did right, this is just like the one thing that would immediately pop to mind regularly, you know, the, the one thing I can definitely say that they did right would be the Demise fight, because... I I mean I had a lot of struggles with it, um, you know, when I first played through it. Um, but like it was so well done. Um a, a lot of the issue I'll admit that I had with um the the demise fight Ah crap, I can never remember where this sculpture is. It's supposed to be right around here somewhere. Um Sorry, I'm trying to remember. All right. I swear that because I, I swear that the sculptula is right freaking in here. Um, but for the life of me, I can never remember where it is. Is it in this place? Okay. Well, I think we've lost the sculptula at this point. Um, because I can't even seem to remember where it's at. Yeah. Well. <sighs> like there's always free, like there's always free mode. And looking up later. Yeah, I, I, I tr been trying to get them all, but for the yeah. life of me, I this one I can just never remember where it's at. Is all. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, back to the back to the big man himself. Yeah, um, but like, yeah, if we're talking demise, like demise was definitely well done. Um. I really enjoyed the way. Oh, yeah, King Dodongo is going to come in at this point. Mm -hmm. um, I really liked the way that Demise was done. Um, the uh, a, a lot a lot of the issue that I had with Demise, admittedly, was um, I never really learned how to shield bash. Um, and because of that, like, I didn't realize when you got to the the demise fight, you know, you could, like, shield bash. I hear this. Oh, there he is. How about that? Cool. <coughs> so we didn't lose it. Um, but, like, I, I, I didn't fully realize, like, you know, that you could shield bash his abilities and stuff. And it, it sounds weird to say, you know, oh, I didn't know you could, like, shield bash and, like, that I didn't learn shield bash and stuff. Especially when, like, the Girahim fights are so heavily dependent on Shield Bash. But I just, I figured out alternative methods to fighting <laughs> most of the bosses. Um, and so I just, I never fully learned how to Shield Bash. And because I never really sat down, learned the Shield Bash moves and stuff like that, it's... The, you know, I didn't, uh... I'm trying to. Yeah, you, like, did, you I, didn't. You didn't. You didn't because like you because you didn't sit sit down pro and learn that technique and learn that proper technique. It's like, huh? Like like okay. Like how am I supposed to get around this? <laughs> yeah, like because demise like requires the shield bash, especially during his first phase, 
And so I was just getting wrecked by him constantly. I'm going, how do you do this? And then a friend of mine's like, well, why don't you just use the shield bash? I'm like, I, I haven't been able to figure that out. And so he, like, took me aside and showed me how to do the shield bash. And I basically went through, like, a study course on shield bashing, if you will. Huh. Um, um, I mean, it worked out in the end because we, you know, I definitely did learn, you know, how to do it and do it properly and stuff. Um, actually, I'm just going to do two Ganondorf. That way they're always nearby me. Yeah. Um, you know, so I did obviously, you know, come to learn the shield bash move and how important it is and stuff like that. But like, it took a while before I got to that point. Um, but once you, once I learned the shield bash, I was like, oh my god, this is actually a really awesome technique to use here. And then like, one, you know, you learn the shield bash and you start using that. But then, you know, you get to a second phase where he's like shooting the electricity. And like, you learn that, you know, you can use the, uh, the skyward strike on him by mm -hmm. collecting the lightning before him. You know? Mm. And I was like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> And now Goma shows up. Yeah. Uh, Manhandle is going to show up here in just a second, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, I thought Okay, I thought we were... I just, okay, when did this turn into a boss rush? Uh, it, yeah, that's... I mean, that's basically the, the level. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of speak, speak the giant plant... Yeah. So the this, this level, um, one of the big tricks is... You know, while you have the ability to gather up on them to, you know, take them down faster, they have the ability to gather up on you. And so it's all about avoid, you know, killing them by gathering up on them before they gather up on you. Um, that can be a little difficult because once the other two spawn in, they immediately start moving to King Dodongo. Mm, ugh, yikes. Yeah. That, I, I, oh, and this is his thing. It's like, oh, that is just brutal. <laughs> then again, Luckily, this is, he's dead. <laughs> then again, you know, Gandorf, you expect brutality from a guy, from, from a guy who, you know, at least in this game, wields two claymores in both hands, like they're, like, like they're, like, like they're a pair of short swords. Right. Indeed. I definitely like this. Oh, that's one of my guys. I definitely like this iteration of Ganondorf. I really wish that the Smash Brothers version of Ganondorf wouldn't be a, uh, a Captain Falcon clone, but would be more something similar to like this. Yeah. Well, they are. Well, at least in Ultimate, they seem to be changing up his moveset a little bit, so to, to, so they incorporate more of a sword, but. Yeah, yeah, I can agree. It's like, come on, I'm like, come on, like you, like, I get, I get the, like, you get, like, you guys have the okay from, like, uh, like from Team Ninja, like, like, <laughs> ju like, you, like, use the, like, use this, like, use this version of him. He, like, he, like, he has at least twelve types of badass. Right. Um. Actually, uh, Ig and Numa recently. I don't know how recently, but he recently released a uh, a new statement. On uh, the uh, the female Link thing, mm -hmm. um, apparently Linkle from this game here was so po honestly so popular that Ijia Numa has stated that he may be considering the idea of allowing a female Link in future Zelda games. Um, some something that, uh, as we had mentioned in a previous episode, he was adamant. About just not being a thing. Um, hey, pop hey, popularity on something can can, ca can cause even can even could cause so even even the most staunch creators to change their mind. Yeah, because, he because hey, gotta make that money somehow. Yeah, definitely. Go ahead and focus, spirit. Since this is the last enemy. By the way, I I kind of love how how the, how for Gandorf, you know, moves. Moves set, especially when he's going yo all out. You see that shadowy version of, of, of Ganon. Yeah, like that. Like that is good, quite literal foreshadowing. Right, it is. 
we got. Oh, that is just. Mm. Yay, we won the level. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, damn, Gan dang, Ganondorf, you scary. <laughs> yeah, I like Ganondorf. He's a lot of fun to play. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I've been playing this, I've been playing Linkle so much lately, doing the adventure mode on my home file, that I'm actually completely forgetting how to play him. I could have done that a lot better. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and then his victory screen. Yes, I love his victory screen. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess we'll continue the, uh, the talk about, you know, good, bad, and ugly, uh, Ganondorf fights in the next episode, since we kind of got sidetracked. Mm-hmm. Um, because I was literally just thinking about that. I was like, you know what? We kind of got sidetracked and stopped talking about that at one point, so. That's yeah, right. it happens. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I do hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, check the video description down below for a link to the playlist. Uh, so you can get caught up on any of the episodes you may have missed. And, uh, we will go into the March of the Demon King in the next episode. Ciao! See you later.